everybody, it is the last Raider. I am back. Oh my God. I thought I was done with Naughty Dog. We're getting worse. It is getting worse. We're in Bounding into Comics today. Uh, and so this is Bounding into Comics article. This is true. I don't know if this is true or not. I just saw the article and I'm just doing a video on it right now. So I might be surprised with what's in this article just as badly as you guys are. Well, anyway, let's get going in. Rumor, Last of Us Part 2 employees could lose their jobs if they voice concerns on its story. Oh, God damn. So anyway, before we get started, let's look right here. Okay, we've got, I believe, Ellie on one side and this Abby character on the other, and God damn. Um, yeah, I, where, where are you getting testosterone supplements in the apocalypse is all i've got to ask there's no way in heck but anyway let's get going following the immense backlash towards naughty dog sparked after last of us 2 gave players their first look at the game's questionable plot points and character designs an alleged source connected to the studio has revealed that the designs of the female character were intentionally made less feminine in order to avoid offending the trans community Last I checked, the trans community is a minority. You're telling me that they hold so much sway over uh, people's wallets that somehow you're going to lose money if they're not satisfied? This is the thing that is, is kind of funny because it's also in... You, you have this in comics. About 50% of women... 100% of women in comic books now, they instantly like each other, even if they're villains. Even if it's a villain... Even if you got a villain on one side and a hero on the other. And they have a 50% chance of being in a lesbian relationship. Which I have a very bad theory on how The Last of Us is going to go. I think it's going to go like um, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, where right now, the reason you're able to play as Abby over here, let's just zoom in here, the reason you're able to play as this chick is because eventually this chick, who's already a lesbian, is going to get involved with this chick who is trans, at the end of the, and if there is a third one, if Naughty Dog even gets a third video game, that's my theory right now of what's going to happen with the game, because the fact that you're playing as this, <clears throat> playing as Abby, and then you're playing, and then uh, Ellie's going after for revenge, it's you got to remember the very same people that are doing this are probably Raylos, and that's that's where you're going with this. You're you're going to have her. Chase this other chick. You're going to have Ellie chase this other chick down trying to kill her if that's how the second game is going to be. Or the third game, I'm sorry. And she's going to end up... They're going to end up in some kind of relationship afterward and, and get shipped again. We're going to see that. Uh, or we're going to see a franchise... We're going to see a game that was really good from what I've heard. I still haven't got it. And after seeing a lot of stuff that's happening, I'm probably not going to get it now. Because I'm not even going to... What, in my opinion, now after seeing this, what is the point? I mean, it's probably a good game, but eh, even if it's free, I'm probably not going to get it after how Naughty Dog has treated. I mean, there are people that I watch online that have just been hammered by this. But anyway, continuing on. The alleged source who spoke with Australian pop culture news site Sausage Roll under the condition of anonymity, okay, claim that the environment... So, so this may not be a rumor. This may be actual fact. Claim that the environment surrounding the game's development was very divisive and how even voicing your concerns on its story will upset certain individuals. It usually results in said person being called closed-minded or, closed or even phobic or some such nonsense. This is a tactic of the left when they get inside of corporations, okay? They go in, <clears throat> they... They don't respond with intellect. They they run through fear and violence. And I've stated, I've said this a lot, you know, fear and violence is the language of stupid people. And sometimes you have to respond to them in kind with it. The problem is they go in and they get these companies and pretty much hold them hostage. It's like you'll get one SJW will enter the facility or your corporation they will put their nose to the grindstone. They'll do the work. You'll have no problems out of them. And then they'll get to a position of hiring. And before you know it, you have all these people that have been hired. And if you even hint at the fact that they could be fired, 
Or they just have the fallback strategy of, well, you know, this will cause a massive outrage because I'm a lesbian trans, uh, I'm a transsexual woman who has lesbian tendencies, which reality, if you just look at that, is just full circle. It's just a straight guy with them. It's just really just a straight man if you stop and think about it. Okay? There, there's no point in doing the transitional. There's no point in all this other crap. Uh, you're just a dude who likes chicks, okay? You transition into a woman, but you have lesbian tendencies. You go full circle sexual-wise. sexual, sexual wise. <laughs> Okay, so fuck it. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, they will get in, and then they, they have this nonsense that they throw out there, and then they, they make you like, oh, you well, this com- I didn't know this company was so bigoted off to tell everyone online, and then the company freaks out because they don't want to... They don't want a social media backlash over it. Reality, your social media backlash is going to probably cost you less money in the long run than it would be keeping this person on because they're just going to keep hiring hackless. It, it's kind of like how um, I was planning on doing a video on this, how Star Wars hired this new chick and she's talking about hiring people based on race and gender. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, we have the ability to have a heart surgeon These people would take a heart surgeon that has one year of experience because they're black over the white heart surgeon who has 20-something years of experience. When it's your life, which one do you want to be doing the heart surgery? According to an SJW, they would rather the inexperienced person do the heart surgery because, oh, skin color... They're, they're going to put themselves at a higher risk. It's your life. You, you have the right to do this. It's also your product. You should be able to hire people based on skill. And <clears throat> they're mad. And there's a very simple reason as to why a lot of white people get hired for jobs more than black than minority people. And that's simply because those people are the minority. You're not getting any less talent. It's just the pool of the population that you're pulling talent from just doesn't have a whole lot of talent you have less hits, I guess. It's kind of like um, if I were to say, okay, you take two archers and you tell them, all right, every hit in the bullseye, the closer you get to a bullseye, the more points you're going to get. Archer one gets three arrows. Archer two gets 20 arrows. Archer two is going to have a higher probability of getting a higher percentage because they have more arrows, not because of any other deal. They just have a higher probability of chances. And when you have a population that's over 50, that makes up over 50% of the country, in other words, white people, you're going to have a higher degree of talent from that area. Because not that it's got, not that they're any better than anyone. They just have a higher hit rate of bringing more talent to the table. Nothing racist about it at all. It's just demographics when you stop and look at it. All right. Related, Naughty Dog and Sony attempted to, to quash... Last of Us 2 leaks and silent anyone discussing them. Yeah, I, I believe that. Uh, anyway, source explained, I don't doubt even for a moment that this leak come from the studio. The Last of Us Part 2 is very diversive and, as you can imagine, some of the team aren't really thrilled to be working on the game. Uh, if I was a Christian, I wouldn't be thrilled of working on a game where it made my religion look stupid either. I mean, replace Christians with a black cult or a Muslim cult or a Buddhist cult. Or better yet, make them a bunch of atheists and see how that goes down. (laughs) I mean, there's a lot of atheists that would agree with me on this, okay? If you're going to do a cult, make up a cult, okay? It's not hard. Most cults are stupid anyhow. They don't make a whole lot of sense. They added the team is very much divided on the game, and even voicing your concerns on it, on its story, will upset certain individuals. Wow, we're re- reading this again. Some people literally have to bite their tongues or fear losing their jobs, even careers, to an outrage mob. As I said, uh, these people go in, they create a protected class, and then they oppress whoever they dislike. They And they all do this on the same basis and same line. It's basically minority. It's basically a small group of people uh, or like Richard Meyer says, it's 12 psychopaths on Twitter determining how your country should operate. Or how your, not your country, your uh, corporation should operate. All right, they, they, they consider your guidelines because they'll make, oh, oh, we'll start an outrage mob. We'll do this, we'll do that. Well, at some point in time, you just got to give them the finger and go on. 
Though it's fo- though this focus on sensitivity remains unconfirmed, the designs of various female characters in The Last of Us 2 provide some support for this theory. Ellie can be seen sporting a more rugged, androgynous look than in the previous game. Androgynous just means neutral sex. Like, well, yeah, I, I can actually see that. Let's put more layers on the chick. God damn, y'all could have just put a hijab on her and probably went even further than that. Newcomer Abby is broad shoulders and built like a brick wall. I don't understand. Like, chicks can't have breasts. I, I did a video on this a while back called, you know, uh, SJWs are afraid of boobs. And that's that theory is being confirmed every day. I have more evidence towards that. You know, there's, there's this need. Uh, there's a... Oh, what is it? There's a picture of Captain Marvel in one of the books where, yeah, I showed it to my wife. I'm like, which one of these do you think is a superhero? And she goes, uh, the blonde chick with big boobs. I said, nope, she's an actor. The real hero is the chick is the, is uh, this person. She goes, that's a dude. I said, you're a bigot, you know, jokingly. She said, no, I'm not medical. She said, from the medical information I'm getting, that's a dude. (laughs) My wife's a nurse. So, but, oh, uh, yeah, it even appears that Dina's chest is significantly reduced when compared to her real-life model, Senia Caradonna. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there is a reduction there. She went from a B. Wow, damn, she went from a, she went from a C cup to an A cup. That's insulting right there. Wow. Man, if I was a chick, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. Wow. Mm. Sausage Roll also spoke with a seasoned artist who has worked as a character designer for several AAA games. Again, under cover of anonymity, who explained that designing female characters without offending trans people was a point of constant troubleshooting across the industry. Why? Why can't we have both? I mean, why why can't you just have both? Why can't you just, you know, make some games with, you know, traditional females and then make some games with androgynous females? If I do a game, the androgynous female is going to be the bad guy. I'm going to have her get whooped by a chick with big boobs and red hair. Fiery, fiery red, shiny hair. Okay. Has to have a small waist and a big butt. Anyway. This source told them it's not really about the sexual objectification of women. Women like men come in all shapes and sizes. To say that having a big busty woman is unrealistic is untrue. Then then, uh, why is it when you guys make characters, they're always flat chested boards that are ugly as sin? It's called, you're trying to get away from the male gaze, which is a sexual thing. That's the whole point of it. And, and, and this also messes up because you guys have added Anita Sarkeesian to the dadgum list. She came in there and talked to you about this. Also, there's there's a video I'm going to do about this bitch later. As soon as I find the video that I'm going to use as a comparison. Because you'll get to hear in Anita's own words. Her own words. When compared. I'll have to borrow a clip from someone else's video. But you're going to hear in her own words what a lying bitch she is. Okay. An absolute liar. That's what naughty dog hired to go in there. Who really knows nothing about video games, who bases everything off of opinionated bullshit. Anyway, we'll keep going. The source added, this is only true for trans people. A trans woman can't naturally grow large breasts and not all trans people can afford implants. If you see a game where a woman is, where the women are less curvy, it's not because game designers are worried about receiving backlash for sexualizing women. It's because they're worried about offending the trans community. Again, a minority group of people, a small group of people, is determining the entertainment value of the majority of everyone else. Again, the androgynous female is going to be the, uh, the villain in my game. They elaborated, from a design standpoint... This is a really challenging problem. No shit. <laughs> I've had many a board I have many board meetings about how to tackle this. Trans people want realistic representation in our games, but they feel excluded if they are represented as too masculine or too feminine. That's why you will see a lot of designers 
nerfing the female form, so to, sp to speak, so <laughs> that the difference between trans women and cis women is a little less noticeable. I have a problem with the term cis. Okay, in my opinion, that's a slur. All right, you're, that's your determ. That's a that's a that's something that trans people invented to label someone who's not trans. You can't just say non-trans. Okay, we we've got to say cis. It's like the N word, in my opinion. All right, I got into an argument with someone about this online. I was like, and I kept telling, him, dude, you're a bigot. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not a bigot. I you're you're a cis. I'm like, yeah, and you keep using that word. You won't call me by like my name or something. You want to put me in a category. I said, just like a racist wants to put a black guy in the N-word category or a Jew in the K-word category. I mean, we can go on and on and on. But this idea of nerfing it, why? Why nerf it? You're nerfing, you. but here's the thing. Let's go back up here for a second. This chick is trans. This character is trans. Ellie is a lesbian. Is she now trans as well? You've got your trans character right here. Why in the hell do these other two characters have to be nerfed in their female form? This chick in reality would already has a big bust. And I can't understand because it's not something that's being applied equally across the board. You're applying it to everything. It's We have to make all the chicks look like men are close to men, and we have to find this balance so that all of them look like the same type of dude, okay? You got this chick. Ellie now is got a smaller breasts, and she's getting she's looking more like this chick. This chick here has been reduced. Why? If women come in all shapes and sizes, why do you make them all look almost flat as a board? That is bullshit. The fact of the matter is, you're afraid of a chick with big boobs because in reality, most of these nerds, even the lesbians, know they couldn't get a chick with big boobs because she has assets. She has options. She's not going to pick some uh, dipshit soy boy like you. She's going to pick a guy that's actually masculine that has a Mustang for fuck's sakes and likes guns. Hey, dear God. Where was I? It's only true for trans people. It's not trans people because you're applying it to every, even the people that are that you call uh, even the people that you use your slur for, they're being applied to. There's speculation that Abby's strong build is the result of her being trans. Having transitioned from male to female, but as of writing, this remains unconfirmed. Here's the thing. You, you can have a muscularly built chick without her being trans. There are plenty of straight chicks out there that are bodybuilders. Okay, you can simply state this. Instead, she has to be trans to have muscle. Remember this, ladies. Being a woman, according to Naughty Dog, being a woman is weak. Traditional women are weak. If you're just a straight chick, you're weak. In order, but if you transition, you get the muscular build and you have the strength of a man. Okay, that's what Naughty Dog's pushing out here. That's that's damn near insulting. But you look at things like, but you know, I, I kind of put this as, you know, you look at um, society right now with women's sports. Women's sports are being uh, phased out for trans sports. You'll have male sports and you have trans sports. Trans people, when they enter a sport, unless they were originally a biological male, they cannot. They usually cannot compete in men's sports. Because the men will just freaking dominate their ass. Because they're not taking estrogen. Because usually, even if it's a guy who's a biological male to an extent, he starts taking estrogen and that does bring him down in terms of physical strength. It will reduce his physical strength and his, mus and his muscle mass to a point. It puts him at a permanent disadvantage to a, male, to a biological male. But in terms of a female, it doesn't bring it down that much. It brings it out to a point where he's still got the physical capability to just destroy a chick, especially in combat sports. They had this situation happen with the, uh, I think it was MMA or UFC, where a person got in there and they were biologically a male, but they were transsexual and didn't tell anyone, and broke a woman's skull. Okay? 
the chick got in there and and even the guys that were watching they said this person's not they don't have any technique professional male fighters were sitting there saying these people don't have any real technique but they were they're just dominating these chicks who have almost flawless technique and the reason being was they were just physically stronger what naughty dog is now saying is women are inferior that is the message from naughty dog that's what i get out of this women are inferior to trans people all right trans is superior women are inferior that's why um that's why we're going up here we're taking this chick here who has who is actually quite attractive honestly she's actually quite attractive and not white I can tell just by looking at her face, she's not white, but she's she's probably, I'm going to say Arab descent. She, wait a minute, wait a minute. This might be the Jewish chick that's in there. Okay, so we do have a bit of Arabian descent right here, technically. So, she's she's attractive. We, we excluded an attractive, uh, racially diverse woman who was attractive and, and lowered her sexuality. <laughs> lowered her sexual attraction for the sake of of making a point of women being weaker. Holy shit. I mean, you got up here. Another thing I noticed is Ellie's hair was originally red, uh, kind of an auburn color, and it's now uh, straight brown. Honestly, though, if you if you take these character models, other than small facial features, you could just swap their heads, basically, and they would be almost the same. I mean, they, they look almost exactly the same. Uh, you take a look at the original character model here, the the woman that was modeled off of it. Man, she's she's actually quite gorgeous. I don't know why we did. Why did they do this? Naughty Dog must hate women. Holy shit! That's what I get out of it. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think about this video. Uh, I mean, we're we're on Naughty Dog, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing more videos on this because it, it's not like I'm repeating anything. I, I'm finding new stuff out about this. Almost daily. <laughs> so I, I'm finding new new crap all the time about this. And I've also I've got to do a video on uh, Anita Sarkeesian coming up. It's probably going to be a short video. Um, and it's going to be a video that I'm just going to send directly to Naughty Dog and ask him, why did you put this liar, this pathological liar, mind you, who whose own admission says she knows nothing about games, but then turns around and tries to fake being a gamer. She is a fake geek, geek girl. She's a fake gamer girl. No no doubt about it. I have, vis I have video evidence proving this shit, and I will find it. Okay, I'll have the video clip evidence proving it. Side by side, Anita's own words against her, her own words in a conversation with feminists, with her public words that she puts out there in the open. She is a pathological liar, and I can prove it. Anyway, folks... Ah, remember, uh, like the video, give me a comment and don't forget to fuck naughty dog in the comments. All right. Cause that, that helped the last video out. And when you go look at someone else's video, if they're talking about naughty dog, put fuck naughty dog in the comments. Okay. The comments commenting and liking the video just boosts its performance. I get way more views. I'm my last two videos. Uh, thanks to you guys. I want to thank everyone who's, who's viewed this video. If you made it this far. I want to thank you guys because your views and the people that have gotten into the comments and they've actually done something and they've, and the people that have liked the videos, you guys have beefed the video count up. My last two videos are exceeding my subscriber count in views, which means these videos are getting out there and you guys are, you guys, I've made the content, but you guys, you're the ones rowing the ship right now. Okay. So I want to thank you viewers for that. Y'all are awesome okay it's this has been an elated week for me going in here doing this i'm like oh my god look at the view count just get, i go in and lunch i'm like okay i do this about an hour later oh yeah you're not gonna about 10 views and then i get home from lunch i'm like holy shit I've, I've surpassed my subscriber count so you guys keep doing this y'all keep doing what you're doing viewing it thank you so much for that i'm the last raider if you're new to the channel like subscribe and comment okay hit the bell for notification Love to hear from you people. Makes my day. Anyway, keep your head on a swivel, folks. Stay frosty, and I'll see you guys next time.